In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create this immediately loaded on our chart here. So, and secondly, we're going to remove the hover effects here. So if I refresh here, let's refresh, you can see this loads immediately. And if I scroll here, this all works. And if I click on or try to go on any of these dots here to hover, you can see it will not disappear. This, these were the, the bugs that we had previously, or at least the items that we still had to cover. Now we've covered this. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to continue on. And this is part 22 of the coin market cap chart in chart yet. And what we're going to solve now, because we've, we've uh, have a lot of things already done, but we're still not done here. As you can see here, when I scroll here, this is all wonderful. But the moment I hover over one of these tool tips here, what happened, or basically these points here, it still removes the item. So we need to solve that. Next, what I want to do as well is I want when we unload immediately load this item because that is right now not happening. If I refresh, you can see here it doesn't load that. So let's start to solve these items. Luckily, this is quite easy. So all we have to do is we have to go all the way down here, also at the bottom. And then the first thing that we need to do, and apparently that's what I forgot, is here we have here the point radius, the point hover radius, and now I'm going to comma and go to here the point radius and that will indicate the triggering of the tool tip so if I refresh now scroll here all right and now if I go on any of these dots here nothing is being triggered anymore beautiful so that's the first part so the next part is let's load this immediately and for this we need to do two parts let's do the first one here first of all I'm going to put in here enter enter and then within here I'm going to say here I want to load this function immediately once we load the website so basically once we load the page at that moment it should start immediately so we're going to say window dot on load once we have this with an equal function and this function here will be eventually another function basically the nameless function and the nameless function will trigger what exactly the zoom box here then what we have is basically the parameter of min and max and what we need to do here now is basically assign these values. So if you remember how we get those, well, so then it will be very easy. You can just say here the dates index zero. And then we're going to get here the other one, which is the dates. And we're going to put in here a array value, and it is the dates dot length minus one. Once we do this, we basically trigger this here and we can see here we can test it apparently i forgot to remove this but this is our test code if i save this if i refresh open up developer tab it says yes but you say well hold on it does indicate it shows to load but it doesn't load our box or our uh basically the focus area well the reason for this is because if we refresh these animations here and there both of them are basically triggering a refresh of the page so once it loads, it will be refreshed about 30 times to create the animation. I've checked in the coin market chart, and luckily they don't use any animation, so that means that we don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to remove here the animation, and we could remove here off as well the animation, but a, that is completely entirely up to you. I will leave that as it is, but I will remove the animation here. So to do that, we're going to scroll up here in the options, with the enter, with the Say here animation without the S. We're going to say here set on false. The moment we do this, say you'll see that the animation is not anymore appearing and we get our colored area. Absolutely stunning. And there you are. And then now we can move this all nice. We can move over here and it doesn't do anything. And there we are. So this is basically how we can create this wonderful uh, function. And of course, now we have to solve these. But that will be in the next video.